Well, hello again. Uh, I am working today. Today's a painting day. I'll be, uh, I've already been in here for a little while. Uh, earlier today, I did a review of the Evy Metal brush set, and the previous video is that video, so if you want to see that, go take a look. Um, but today is sort of turning into mostly an assembly day. Um, I was running out of ships to paint. And uh, I realize, I mean, you know, the worst thing that can happen is that you start work and then you have to wait because you don't have anything else to do. And so you're, you're kind of wasting time. You should always be doing something. Uh, this is important both if you're doing commission work because, you know, time is money. But also, you know, if you're just trying to get things done, right? If you're just trying to paint your army, you should always be, you should always be moving forward. Uh, don't sit around and, and wait for the paint to dry because that's not getting anything done. Uh, now, if you've been watching the previous videos, you know that I started work on the Shade Wraith and then immediately stopped work on the Shade Wraith because I didn't know the direction that I wanted to go. Well, now I know. And uh, this is not done. Uh, this is essentially base coated. But what I decided to do is rather than go green, I, I have not liked anything that I've seen that is green. Uh, I'm going blue, and uh, but not, you know, not a, a serious blue. This right now is a base coat. I should say. A, let me back up a little bit. So first thing uh, was it was primed black, and then uh, it was airbrushed with a base coat of uh, Vallejo Cold Gray. Uh, which is very similar to the uh, whatever the GW light gray is. After that, I took the uh, glaze wa uh, glaze medium that comes with the Evy Metal brush set. Speaking of, and I created a wash uh, using P3 Coal Black, which is really one of my favorite colors right now. Um, I'm not sure why. It's it's really meant to be sort of a blue black. But it's got a, it's got some green to it, so uh, when you wash with it, or if you lighten it, it's it does some interesting things. And now this is that color in the glaze medium, and I gotta say that glaze medium, that's finding a permanent place on my workbench. It is some nice stuff, and I just noticed a couple of spots that I've got to touch up here, so I'm going to do that while I talk. Um, it, it creates, or you can create, a wash that behaves very similarly to the, um, to GW's current wash line. And that's great because I love the way those things behave. Uh, you get really good results with it, or at least I do. And I haven't heard anybody who says differently. Uh, so I really wanted to kind of stretch the limits of this glaze by <laughs> essentially covering this ship with it. And it turned out really really nice I used just oh I gotta get really get in there uh, I used just the uh, um, the paint and the glaze I didn't even add any wash or wash water I didn't add any water and the results in terms of uh, you know having to cover a large surface area the re results in, in my opinion were pretty spectacular um, I am now feeling like uh, that the glaze medium is sort of the highlight of that heavy metal brush set. Sure, the brushes are fine. I like them just fine. But uh, I think this, this glaze medium is super cool. I'm going to use it all the time. And I think that I'm going to be really upset if Games Workshop does not add this to their Citadel paint line. So, anyway, there you are. If you are 
you're always looking for something new to try out, that might be a reason to buy that uh, that brush set. In fact, I'm going to mix up a little bit more right now. Uh, anyway, aside from that, uh, I've put together you know a few more of the ships, and uh, this when I'm when this uh, glaze is done. I'm going to hit it with the airbrush and brighten up that blue, but to be honest, I'm really kind of happy with where this is, and I don't want to go too much brighter, um, but I, I have to. I have to go somewhat brighter. I want it to have a little bit of that sort of ghostly glow to it, and then i got to do the, the base and the the uh, ghosts that are pushing it up from the bottom, and those got I want those to be a little bit different. And so anyway, I gotta go do that. Let me go do that. And uh, I don't want this video to go on. I, I tend to ramble. I think you all know that. So <laughs> I'm going to avoid rambling and get to work. So see you in a bit. So this is just a quick update on the Shade Wraith. Uh, I have done some uh, airbrush work on it now. Let's see if I can, yeah, there you go. That's not a bad view. Um, the colors that I used on top of the coal black wash that I did earlier uh, was P3's Meridius Blue. Now, uh, if you saw <clears throat> if you saw my uh, video on oh, you know what? I'm wrong. That wasn't that. It was uh, Arcane Blue. Yep, P3 Arcane Blue. Uh, I did use the Meridius Blue, but I used it on the wash down here on the little ghosts holding the thing up. So anyway, like, like I was saying, if you'd seen the um, the video that I did on the uh, Gray Knight, the Ghost Knights um, that I did earlier, uh, I used a similar coloration. The difference is that those were done uh, rather brightly, and I did not want this to be bright. I, you know, I, for me, I, I envision a ghost ship as being sort of uh, Dismal. I mean, even if it's kind of a glowing spectral ship, it's it's undead, right? It, this should have some uh, some uh, some gray to it, some kind of scary gray tones, and so that's what I tried to work with here. Now the ghosts holding it up, they're a little brighter, they're a little more colorful. They have that meridius blue wash on them, uh, but. The rest of this, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I think this is blowing out the color. So the rest of this uh, is very desaturated. Uh, the colors there, um, even if you can't necessarily get a full sense of it from this video, you will be able to when I take pictures. Um, and I do like the coloration, and it's not green, but it has some green. And let's face it, you know, your your regular ghostly colors has to include a, a, at least a bit of green. And uh, I definitely like the where this is going. At this point, uh, I'm going to do some a bit of dry brushing just to bring out some of the details. I'm not going to paint the cannon. I know I've seen them where somebody goes in and like you know brasses up the cannons, but I just don't think that works. Uh, it 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 brings your eye to them. It looks weird. It's like why did the cannon uh, not look ghostly when the rest of the ship does? I, I think this one is best served uh, by being fairly uniform in its coloration. Uh, I will probably do something with the uh, the torch at the top there. I don't know why that's not, oh, there you go. Uh, and brighten that up a little bit more. But in general, I just want to pick out the detail uh, and make it pop a little bit, but I don't want, I don't want to draw the eye to any one thing by making it a completely different color. This is a ghost ship. It's not a ghost ship that went into port and got supplies and has some elements of it that are not ghostly. So, at least that's the way I see it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go get to work. Uh, I'm starting to ramble again, I can tell. And so, there we go.
What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Lying in the morning, way up she rises, way 